Hello friends, Romans, and countrymen. This is Mr. Cinema Junkie, and I am here with day 26 of the Movie A Day Challenge. Getting real close to the end, man. We're almost there. Today is an interesting question. We're being asked for a horror movie for a chicken. Admittedly, my chicken doesn't like horror movies. He's more into action comedies. Buddy cop films. He's such a picky little twat. <laughs> no, I know what the question meant. It's a, a horror movie for someone who's basically scared easily but that's where the confusion set in for me was are you talking about a movie that really isn't very scary but they would be scared by it or you know what I mean and there's so many ways to look at that so for the second time in this whole series I have two answers but this is a, there's a very good reason for two answers and you'll they'll become very apparent when I explain that you're gonna you're gonna know why and it's gonna make a lot of sense okay first of all let's say we're taking the angle that we're picking a horror movie for someone who scares easily and we're trying to take it easy on them they're gonna get scared no matter what we don't want to give the poor guy a heart attack so let's kind of go low dose on him I'm not gonna cheap it up and give him something really weak and lame I'm gonna give him something that I personally would like but it's far from scary to me anyway and that movie would be One Dark Night uh, stars Adam West and Meg Tilly uh, Adam West had a small part in there I really shouldn't say it stars him but he does have a, a featured role in there um, basically it's a story of a, a guy who's doing studies in telekinesis he finds a way to absorb the, the energy of other people by frightening them uh, the thing he doesn't realize is that as he frightens them and gets that energy, it's negative energy, it winds up killing him. Um, they put him in a mausoleum, they bury him, have the funeral services for him and such. Uh, what, what winds up happening is Meg Tilly is uh, being initiated into a little gang at school. Uh, they really don't like her, they're just setting her up to scare her. And they make her spend the night in the mausoleum. Um, this guy basically comes back to life, uses his telekinetic powers to reanimate corpses and have them floating all over the place. They're not zombies. They're not there to eat or kill or anything. But they're being moved around telepathically to scare the girls so that he can absorb more of their energy. Um, this movie was one of the first ones that was billed as, as being... They made a big deal out of it being rated PG. Uh, also, they made a big deal out of it, not having really any per profanity in it, and no blood. Uh, there is a little bit of gore, a little bit, but all in all, atmospherically, I like the movie. I really do, and I didn't think it was a bad movie at all. In fact, I would own it today if I could find it on DVD anywhere. So, that would be the one I would pick for a so-called chicken, because... It's not that scary, although someone who's easily scared might see it and go <laughs> and freak out. Now, the other answer I have is The Exorcist. Now, the reason I'm picking The Exorcist is because anyone who grew up watching The Exorcist, who saw The Exorcist when it first came out, knows that it was a very frightening film. And for a chicken would be extremely scary, extremely frightening. For people like us, who have seen it all our lives, we've become numb to that movie. We're kind of like, it's a good movie, it's still it's still a very good movie, but we've kind of lost the thrill. It's not as... Uh, it's like, oh yeah, their head spinning around, sure. Oh, here comes the crucifix. You know, we watch it just for the sake of watching it. It doesn't have that thrill anymore. For me, nothing rejuvenates the thrill of a movie than watching the reactions of people around me. 
I will show certain friends and relatives movies that I once thought were kind of frightening and I thought had a lot of thrills and scares to them, but just, they just don't do it for me anymore because I've become numb to them. But when I have other people who've never seen the movie before and they're, they're easily scared as it is and they're freaking out and screaming and, oh my God, that was the most frightening thing I've ever seen, I enjoy the movie all over again. It's like brand new for me. Um... Kind of like living vicariously through other people, but I'm living through their fear and their and their shock. So on the one hand, I'm picking a movie that takes it easy on the cowardly little cur, and uh, eh, PG rated something or other. I guess I could have picked Dark Knight of the Scarecrow along with that because that's another made-for-TV movie, which isn't. Oh, well, that's scary, but quite frankly, it's it has a creepy atmosphere. I think it's scarier than One Dark Night. Um, if you haven't seen One Dark Night, definitely check it out. Uh, so on the one hand, One Dark Night for a chicken, because it'll take it easy on their psyche and not leave them completely mentally raped. On the other hand, The Exorcist, which will leave them completely mentally sodomized, but we get a big thrill out of it. Okay, so those are my answers for day 26. A horror movie for a chicken. Come on, day 27. Day 27. Coming at you soon.